Mike Ayler's $50 house. So um, Mike Ayler's work is, is for underground homes, and sometimes he thinks that he shouldn't have called them underground homes, but earth-integrated homes. When you look at one of his houses, all you see is a hillside. They're invisible. It doesn't get much more integrated with earth than that. Um, in fact, there was a guy in Europe, he built a four-bedroom home using these techniques, and the Department of Making You Sad showed up <laughs> and said, we hear we have a four-bedroom home here. We never gave you a permit, and so we're kind of pissed about that. And then also, you need to be paying more taxes on it. And the guy was like working in his garden, and he says, well, if you can point it out to me, I guess I have to pay taxes on it. <laughs> so there's three guys from the government, and it's only two acres of land, and it's a four-bedroom house. They wandered all over. They never found it. So they left. Here's, I've got uh, a couple of different videos of Mike's work, uh, but this is the $50 house. This is the original house that he designed. It was a cold, cold winter, and he knew he needed something better than the shack that he was in now. I think what he came up with was extremely brilliant. I think that the engineering in his book, and I'm an engineer, the engineering in his book is extremely sound. Not only that, but we went up to this house, and when I videoed it, the house was 37 years old, and nobody had lived in it for three years, because Mike's gotten a little up there in years, and so he lives down at the base of the hill. This is kind of up in the mountain a little bit. <clears throat> Not only was the structure extremely sound, but when I took the video, there was no odor, no smell in, in the structure, and I was worried about that, that there could be that. So, but it was rock solid. And I would think that most $50 houses would have crumbled usually the first year. Look, I made it out of cardboard. <laughs> Very sound.